need no other plea. Welcome to day 23 of our fasting and prayer. I believe that God has been helping you and this is another time to pray together again. I want you to lift up your hands and your voices wherever you are and begin to bless the name of our God. I want you to thank God for carrying you through this fast. I want you to thank him for the blessing of fruitfulness. Father, we thank you this afternoon. We give you praise for your strength. We give you praise for you carry us. We give you praise for you help us. You are indeed our sustainer. You are indeed our life. You are indeed our all in all. Thank you for grace upon your church. Thank you for grace upon every member to seek your face and call upon your name in this season. Thank you because you have not asked us to seek you in vain. Thank you, Lord, for fruitfulness. I want you to begin to thank God for Genesis 1, 28. The Bible says, and the Lord blessed them. And he said to them, be fruitful and multiply. This is the command of God over our lives. This is the command of God over your life. Lift up your voice this afternoon and say, Lord, I thank you. Because you have commanded me to be fruitful. Everything in my life obeys that command. Thank you for causing me to be fruitful and to multiply in every Every area of my life. Blessed be your name, O oh God. Thank you for causing your church to be fruitful and to multiply. We give you praise this afternoon. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. For you have not just carried us to day 23. You are seeing us to the end. And thank you for fruitfulness abounds in every area of our lives. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. I want you to go ahead and commit your endeavors to God's hand. I want you to pray about the works of your hand. Today we are praying for fruitfulness fruitfulness in every area of our lives according to Psalm 128 verse 2. If possible, I want you to open your Bibles and begin to pray according to God's word. The Bible says you will eat the fruit of your labor. You will eat the fruit of your hands. Begin to pray this afternoon in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. My labor is fruitful. Whatever I lay my hands upon is fruitful. And they are not just fruitful. I eat the fruit of my labor in Jesus name. I eat the fruit of my hands in Jesus name. Father, I thank you. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, I speak fruitfulness to the works of my hand. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, I speak fruitfulness to everything I lay my hands upon. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, Father, we thank you. Lord, we give you praise because you have commanded us to be fruitful and the works of our hands are fruitful. Psalm 90 verse 17. He says, let the beauty of the Lord our God be upon the works of our hands. I want you to pray this afternoon. The beauty of God is upon everything I do, causing me to be fruitful, causing me to experience fruitfulness in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Pray for restoration and fruitfulness for your family, for your friends, for your neighbors, for everyone in the household of David Church. Father, we pray for our family members. We pray for our friends and our loved ones. We pray for every member of the household of David that in this season and beyond, your beauty is upon the works of our hands. We eat the fruits of our labor in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Father, we thank you. I want you to ask God. Let's go ahead and ask God for a higher 
deeper and stronger expression of fruitfulness in the life of our pastor, Pastor Shola and Pastor Abigail and every minister that we minister at Higher Ground Conference. We are praying for a higher expression of fruitfulness in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Let's pray for them according to Philippians chapter 1. The word of God says we pray that their love we abound yet more and more in knowledge and in all judgment that they approve things that are excellence, that they are sincere and without offense that they are filled with the fruits of righteousness. Lord, we pray for Pastor Shola and Pastor Abigail. Lord, that you increase and multiply apply their fruitfulness. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, we pray this afternoon that our pastors are filled with the fruit of righteousness. By the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus. They are fruitful in every good work. They are fruitful in the things of the Spirit. They are fruitful in their work with you. They are fruitful in that which you have committed into their hands. You multiply their fruitfulness. You take them into a higher, deeper, and stronger level of fruitfulness in the mighty name of Jesus. We not only pray for them, we pray for every minister that will minister at higher grand conference. Lord, lift them up to a higher and deeper expression of fruitfulness in their ministries and in their personal lives in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. You can mention the name of the ministers as we pray for a mighty manifestation of fruitfulness in their lives in the name of the Lord Jesus. In the same vein, I want you to begin to pray for all HOD workers. We pray for all HOD leaders. We pray for all HOD members and our partners as well. Lord, we pray for all that are service providers and support teams in higher grand conference that we enjoy fruitfulness like never before. Your word says in Isaiah 32 that until the spirit be poured upon us from one eye, then every wilderness be turned to a fruitful field. We ask for an outpouring of your spirit upon every member of the household of David. Hey Lord, an outpouring of your spirit upon everyone identified with the household of David for greater dimensions of fruitfulness in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus that our life begins to to bear fruits like never before in the name of Jesus that every wilderness be turned to a fruitful field and the fruitful field be counted as a forest in the name of the Lord Jesus. Yes, we pray that before our grand conference, do we win our grand conference and even our grand conference? We experience fruitfulness in a higher dimension for every worker, for every member, for every leader, for every partner. Hey Lord, for everyone that will join our grand conference online and on site, higher levels of fruitfulness. Every wilderness becomes a fruitful field in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father, for the outpouring of your spirit that leads to abundance, that leads to fruitfulness in the name of the Lord Jesus. We call forth fruits in every area of our lives. We call them forth in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. We give you praise, Lord, for every area of our lives begin to answer, begin to blossom, begin to bud and flourish like never before in the name of the Lord Jesus. Oh, we thank you, Father, in Jesus' mighty name. Now, people, let's begin to pray for our country, Nigeria. The word of God says we should pray for the peace of that country where we are, for in its peace we have peace. Let's pray for our nation this afternoon, that Nigeria we bud and blossom again, that Nigeria we flourish again, that through Aya Grand Conference and all the ministrations at Aya Grand Conference, restoration will come to Nigeria in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Lord, we lift up our country to you this afternoon, oh God. We ask that Nigeria we bought again. Ha. Lord, we ask that Nigeria we bought again. We ask that Nigeria will flourish again by your mercy. In the name of Jesus. Our Lord, as you have declared restoration in our grand conference, that Lord, through every ministration that is going forth in our grand conference, Nigeria we experience res restoration in the name of the Lord Jesus. Ah, Lord, we pray, oh God, hey, your word says, hey, that there is hope for a tree. Even though it is cut down, it can sprout again and the tender branch thereof will not cease at the scent of water. Let our grand conference be that scent of water that this nation needs in the name of the Lord Jesus. 
Lord, let every ministration that will come forth from my grand conference be the scent of water that will cause our nation to flourish again and blossom again and bud again in the name of Jesus in every sector. This afternoon, we ask for restoration in Nigeria. We ask that Nigeria be fruitful again. We ask that your mercy will speak all over this land from the north to the south, from the east to the west, among the young and the old. Lord, we ask for your mercy to bring restoration, to bring fruitfulness in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. And we pray for the body of Christ that through our grand conference there will be restoration and fruitfulness in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Father, we thank you, O God, because you have heard us again this afternoon. We give you praise, Lord. We exalt your holy name. Mighty are you, God. Mighty are you, God. Mighty are you, God. Lift your hands and thank him for answered prayers. Father, we give you praise. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. We have finished this prayer session, but you can go on ahead wherever you are and continue to pray before you break your fast. Today is day 23. We continue again tomorrow by God's grace. Even though there won't be a live broadcast, please go to the household fellowships at by 5 p.m. tomorrow Saturday to continue the prayers for the fasting and prayer session. And on Sunday, please do join our services 8 a.m., 9.30 a.m. and 11 a.m. on Sunday. God bless you.